Hey guys, I'm Ilan with 2ProBeats and welcome to my studio life. Today I want to show you how you can add low end to drum loops without using an EQ. So I want to show you how you can add the low end to drum loops without using an EQ. Instead of an EQ, I'll be using VX Subsynth. This plugin is from Brainworks. It's using subharmonic uh, synthesis, an emulation of a DBX hardware, but it's more than that because it has some uh, additional uh, functions. This is the, the interface, global, sub and edge. In the global uh, section, we have uh, the option to select between mid and side, gain input, gain output, a mix knob, where we can mix the, the process signal with the dry signal. We have the, the face famous Brainworks uh, mid-side processing with the mono maker and the, the stereo width. On the sub we have a master level for the sub harmonics. We have three different uh, frequencies, trim knobs, solo button. With edge we can add some compression to the sound and we can add some overdrive filters for the process signal. And we also have a, a special filter. This one is a Butterworth filter. It cuts the frequencies but it also creates a resonant peak at, uh, at that uh, frequency. And with the low end you can control the total Total output of the of the bass. Let's uh, hit it in action. I will uh, shut up and uh, I will show you some uh, some examples. I love the fact that you have three frequency ranges that you can select from a very low one. This one, you cannot hear it if you don't have a good pair of speakers or uh, headphones. This one is uh, very nice for drums. It has a lot of body. For this drum loop, I used the stereo width, added some depth. I monoed the, the signal below almost 400 hertz. Let's hear uh, before and after. The difference is huge. In the context of the mix, this will add a lot of weight to the mix, so everything will sound deeper. Let's go to the, the next example, percussion loop.
difference is, is huge. It takes the, the loop to the next level. This is before. Let's go to the to the next example. This is like a more uh, modern uh, drum loop. And you can hear that it lacks that low end. Let's see if we can add it with uh, BX subsend. So just by using the, the filter, the tight punch, you already can hear an improvement, a lot of bass added to the drum loop. Let's hear the before and after. So I think this, this plugin is a must have if you're mixing a lot of uh, more than uh, rap, trap, electronic and things like that. It's amazing on drums and uh, I really like how uh, tight is the, uh, the low end. It adds a nice uh, tight punchy low end to almost everything uh, you, you throw at it. Uh, this is how you can add low end to things that are missing low end, especially drums and uh, percussion loops. You can use this on other sources too. You will see this plugin in uh, more videos for me in the future. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please subscribe and hit the notification button drop a like if you have any suggestions leave a comment thanks for watching see you guys next time